Last year Porsche sold over 162,000 cars. A new all-time record. And I'm told to believe that my videos have positively influenced a few of these buying decisions. However, while the increase in sports car sales was very strong, over 50% of the cars Porsche sold in 2013 were actually SUVs. Now, you can think about the Cayenne whatever you want, but people simply buy this car like fresh buns on a Sunday morning. I kid you not, in a few years children might be thinking of SUVs instead of sports cars when they hear the name Porsche. Just because you already see more Cayennes on the roads here in Germany than 911s. They are everywhere. So the only question here is, can a true Porsche enthusiast like me fall in love with the Cayenne? Now I could have picked any Cayenne. But I picked the GTS after watching my buddy Steve's fabulous review for Rosenthal Automotive. Thank you for that, Steve. <laughs> and I think it is the sportiest version of the Cayenne range. It has a special suspension setup in comparison to all these other models that Porsche offers. So I think it's the most suitable to have a little bit of fun on these twisty German b roads where I usually test drive cars on. And it should be the most exciting one to drive for a driving enthusiast like me. In comparison to the Cayenne S, the GTS has a specially tuned chassis that brings the car lower to the ground. 24mm on standard steel springs, 20mm with the optional air suspension. Wider wheel arches, prominent side skirts, rear spoiler with twin wing profile, as well as the turbo front end with bigger air intakes, give the GTS a unique and aggressive look, rounded up by accents finished in high gloss black and the standard sports exhaust with matte black tailpipes. This optional peridot metallic paint job is only available for the Cayenne GTS just like the optional color matching interior package which can only be ordered with the standard sport seats. They are 8-way adjustable, but the heavy side bolsters make the backrest too narrow so that only slimly built females will find them comfortable on long drives. Optional 14-way or 18-way adjustable seats are a must-have option for the GTS as far as I'm concerned. Porsche's sport design steering wheel is standard in the GTS, but the multifunction wheel is a no-cost option. A 100W Porsche sound system with 10 speakers is standard, but what you really want are the Bose or the Burmester system. The back seat is comfortable and even for a 6 foot 4 tall guy like me it offers plenty of legroom. Last but not least the trunk shows a very generous amount of cargo space. GTS has a 4.8 liter naturally aspirated V8 that makes 420 horsepower and 550 newton meters of torque. And when you put it in sport mode, it really sounds quite nice at high RPMs. But the problem for me is that the torque is only available at 3,500 RPM and higher. So low end torque for a big car like this one here is not so impressive in my opinion. So in the end, even though it looks fast on paper, 5.7 seconds from 0 to 100 kph, 261 km per hour. It doesn't really feel that fast. I personally think the Cayenne S diesel with the big V8 diesel engine is more impressive to drive and more fun and of course it is much more fuel efficient I have to say that I'm really really struggling to get this Cayenne here under 13 liters and once you're driving spirited I'm not going to tell you my numbers
So a quick word about the transmission. In this car, like in all other Cayennes, you get Porsche's 8-speed Tiptronic automatic. And I have to say it's a good transmission. It has 8 gears that are really set up shortly so that you get the best performance from it. But sometimes it reacts a little bit too slow for me, especially when you accelerate and then you want to have the highest gear to save a little bit of fuel. It stays in gears a little bit too long for me until you really get 7th or 8th gear. So now I'm on a very very twisty road and I want to see what the Cayenne GTS feels like when I'm driving it a little bit more spirited. Now for all you geeks out there, the Cayenne GTS comes standard with Porsche Active Suspension Management PASM. So I'm going to put it into the sport mode. I also have the optional air suspension on this car, so put it into the lowest setting. Manual mode, sport mode for the transmission. And let's see what it feels like. And the first impression that I get once you put the suspension into the sporty setting is that there really is minimal body roll. Quite impressed about that considering how high the Cayenne is and what kind of mess I'm throwing around here. The steering feels great. Typical Porsche rack delivers good feedback and really one of the main reasons why driving a Porsche and even this Cayenne here is so confidence inspiring for the driver. Corners really really flat. What I don't like that much are the brakes. I have optional ceramics here and I often catch myself coming into a situation where I was approaching a corner and the brakes didn't come on strong enough so I braked a little bit harder and then suddenly they came on really strong. So normally I'm a huge fan of these carbon ceramics here but in this Cayenne GTS here they feel a little bit artificial for me. But apart from that it's really good fun to drive this. Cayenne GTS here. I'm impressed I have to say. It's really not a joke when people say that this here is the sportiest SUV in its class. That's for sure. Well, this is going to be a long verdict I guess, but I have to say I really really like the Cayenne and I completely understand why it's such a successful car for Porsche. It is just a very comfortable and nice daily driver, offers tons of space, is so easy to drive considering how big it is even here on German roads and of course the Porsche badge is very desirable in comparison to its competitors I guess. But I personally wouldn't go for the GTS model and the main reason is the character of this engine here. This 4.8 liter naturally aspirated engine just feels like a sports car engine for me and it doesn't deliver its performance in a way that I expect it to have in a big heavy car like this one here. You have to rev it out to get the performance that you expect from it and then you have really really bad fuel economy. So I personally would go for the S-Hybrid or for one of the big diesels that you get here in Germany. The S-Diesel is just a very very impressive car and even the small diesel is a very convenient engine in my opinion for the Cayenne. You don't need crazy performance in such a comfortable car. Don't spend too much money on a big engine in the Cayenne, if you ask me. Spend this money that you save for the GTS on options like a great sound system, like the comfort seats and what else you would like to have in your daily driver. Don't go for one of the big engines. That's not necessary in my opinion. But in the end, like I said, long verdict, I'm really, really impressed by the Cayenne and really like the way it feels on the road. Very impressed how agile it feels and just how Porsche is able to give this really, really big heavy car such a nice feel once you drive it a little bit spirited. And of course on the Autobahn, it's just yeah, like a freight train. People move out of your way. Very, very cool. So. Now I want to hear what you guys think about this car. Leave me a comment below, tell me what you think about the Cayenne and I see you in the next review guys. Take care.